Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblog channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to bring your listing grid to the next level by turning it into a slider. By the way, if you haven't seen our previous Jet Engine tutorials on everything about custom post type or creating a listing template from scratch, you can go straight to the Jet Engine for a Gutenberg playlist right here. As always, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Now let's find out what slider does and why you need it on your website. Post slider is effective and very useful part of your website. Usually it shows the recent and trending posts to catch the visitors' attention and encourage them to spend more time on your blog or website. Basically, post slider displays a featured image of a post, its title, and sometimes even a bit of extra information like published date or description. Depending on what layout you choose, there can be slider, carousel, and scroll slider. And don't think that you need three different plugins or blocks. With a jet engine, it can be done just with one click. Enabling slider option allows you to create either a slider, carousel, or scroll slider only by changing the number of posts and adjusting the columns. In this tutorial, we will step even further and make a slider from a listing grid. If you haven't seen our previous tutorial on creating a listing template and displaying it in a listing grid, do not hesitate to watch it. But if you already followed all the steps and have a couple of nice grids now, I'm sure you cannot wait to know how to make everything look even better. Slider is one of the listing grid features. With the help of it, you can make your page more interactive and engaging and also save some space. It doesn't take a lot of time to add a slider, however, after watching this tutorial, you will definitely want to use it in your future project. Now let's open the WordPress dashboard. First of all, let's open a page. And add a listing grid block. Select the listing template and adjust the number of posts. So, as you can see, there are 9 posts or there can be more posts displayed and to not overload the page with grids or posts and make it more attractive, we can turn our listing grid into a slider. Let's scroll down to the bottom where it says slider settings and unfold it. You will find two options there. Enable slider and enable scroll slider. Let's take a look at the first one for now. Once it's enabled, you'll see more options to adjust your slider. The first option – slide to scroll. The bigger the number of the slides here, the more posts will be scrolled. For example, if it is set to 1, we will see only one new slider when it is scrolled. If it is set to 4, a different set of slides will appear. If you don't want the visitors of your website to miss any slide here and draw their attention to this particular grid, you can stick to the smaller number of slides. The next two options – Show Arrows Navigation and Show Dots Navigation – are optional. You can enable Arrows Navigation and disable Dots and vice versa, or leave them both. Enabling Autoplay makes the slider leave on its own and scroll the slides automatically. And a bit below, you are able to set an autoplay speed. Basically, it means for how long we can see the slides. The smaller the number, for example, 500, the quicker the slides will be scrolled. Setting it to 6000 will make the slides stay a bit longer on the screen. If it is disabled, the users will have to manually scroll the slides. Under Effect, you can choose whether it's gonna be slide or fade effect. The next option, Infinite Loop, means that whenever the slider comes to the very last slide, it starts all over again. And the last one here, Animation Speed. Don't get confused here, we already know that autoplay speed relates to the general time the set of slides will be displayed till the next scroll. Let's set it to 200. So, we can see the slides for some time on the screen, but the transition to the next slide is super quick. 
To make it more smooth, just set the animation speed to, for example, 2000. Play with the numbers here to find the speed that better suits your website. One more thing here, let's disable the slider and enable the second option, enable scroll slider. What this option does is it makes it possible to have a simple scroll slider, for example, only on tablet or mobile and allows you to adjust the column width here. Once you're satisfied with the result, just click publish or update and let's check the front end. So here is our desktop grid slider. And here is how scroll slider looks on tablet and mobile. So that was it for this tutorial and if you enjoyed it, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as more cool and useful tutorials are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.